Hello friends and welcome into a very special edition of our show as today we shine the spotlight on the cherry capital of the world with thousands of acres of cherry orchards, over 40 wineries, and a selection of championship golf experiences unmatched anywhere in America. We're glad to have you along with us as today we turn our attention to Traverse City. So come on along. Welcome to Michigan Golf Live Television, celebrating our 20th season of shining the spotlight on the best places to stay, play, and enjoy the greatest game on earth. Stay connected 24-7 to MGL on Facebook, Twitter, our weekly radio show, and podcasts on the all-new 4golfersnetwork.com. Hello friends and welcome into the show. I'm Bill Hobson and I'm so glad to have you along for the journey as we basically visit paradise? I think so. We've set our sights on Traverse City golf and life and fun in this region which will take us to some of the great golf destinations but also the beauty of this region including a little time on the tall ship Manitou right out here on the water on a picture perfect day. We'll return to this ship a little bit later during the show but first Let's get you right to the golf course as we head to Agamene Golf Resort. In this special, we're featuring three primary golf destinations and Agamene Golf Resort is one of them. So for those who haven't played here, what's special about Agamene? Well, location's pretty special. Um, Northern Michigan, overlooking Torch Lake. You know, a lot of our guests are coming up from Detroit. Grand Rapids area and the city and when they get up here they they pull in our parking lot and they see Torch Lake they're like wow you know it's got a lot of wow factor um, two great golf courses Torch Sundance so we're pretty lucky there is something special about just getting away and stepping into onto a property like this where there, there's no more of the concerns of work or wherever you're left behind you come up here you just totally relax you do and you know being able to shut that cell phone off hopefully and, and you know play golf and absorb northern Michigan, especially the last two or three years. I think that's really what people are looking for. So here on the Torch course, walk us through some of the highlights because these two courses, Torch and Sundance, really do have different personalities to them. They do, completely, really. Um, the Torch course was built, started in the 70s, 1970s, by actually an old Ryder Cup captain named Chick Harbor. Hmm. Um, big name in Michigan golf. And added nine more holes in the 80s and became an 18-hole course. Very northern Michigan-like uh, creeks and trees and hardwoods and up and down and elevation, great views. And then we added Sundance in 2005, and that is more of a link style golf course, 119 bunkers, Jerry Matthews design, in my opinion, probably his best design. Um, probably one of the top three or four courses in all northern Michigan. Very playable, but just very beautiful when you're standing on the tee and looking at every hole right in front of you. It's got some good wow factor to it. It really does. And, and some of the challenges that are presented on both courses remind me of how the same general property can lend itself to such different characteristics of golf courses. Because I really think that they're very different courses. The elevation differences and just the way that Jerry Matthews put his fingerprints on one of them versus the other. Uh, I don't know, they're, they're very distinctly different. And, you know, and that's what's so great about our golf packages is we actually have two other golf courses up north that I think you guys will probably go see. Um, but we offer such a distinct, um, different playability in everything they play. You know, then they go to Antrim Dallas and they go to Charlevoix and those are different as well. So we get, they get four different golf courses when they come up. Well, part of being a golf resort means you have some lodging opportunities. So for our viewers, what are some of those options to come and stay and play? Um, we have about 200 beds now. Um, we've <laughs> increased quite a bit over the years. We've got a lot of one bedroom, two bedroom, all the way up to four bedroom townhomes. Um, we do a ton of big groups of golfers, groups of 24, groups of 40. We got one checking in today. Um, and these guys are, you know, getting together maybe just once a year, old college buddies, old, you know, work buddies. So, um, you know, the, whole, the best thing about it is they can be together. They're staying in one unit. We 16 guys under one roof. You know, they play cards all night and have fun. And, um, you know, for people that only see each other once a year, that's really what it's all about. From Torch and Sundance, we come north about 15 minutes to Antrim Dells, where the magic is. So Dave Hill, what is the magic? 
Well, the magic's getting on the golf course, any of our four courses, but uh, I learned that from a PGA guy talked about hitting balls in the range, but sometimes you get on the course because that's where the magic is and the fun. A number of our viewers will be considering a trip to Antrim Dells probably for the first time. You know, we come to Traverse City, we, we sometimes are ready to explore new golf courses. What is it about Antrim Dells that brings somebody back for a second visit? I think it's the greens. Our greens are spectacular. Um, they're quick, they're not super small, but uh, it's designed by Jerry and Bruce Matthews. They did a great job. They're old school greens, they run fast. Uh, you know, I always said you're only as good as your greens are. So I think the greens bring them back. The view is going to bring them back too, but from the golfer aspect, uh, you can run the ball up, you can fly it in, but it doesn't beat you up, but it's plenty of tests of golf here. If you go long, you're in trouble. Now, if you're open to some personal advice, a little insider tip, here's what I'd suggest. When you come to the Agamene Golf Resort to play, certainly tee it up on the torch and Sundance courses, and then you'll drive about 15 minutes straight north to Antrim Dells, where you'll play their 18 championship holes. But when you're done, come into the restaurant because you will enjoy locally sourced fish that is uh, just so incredibly good. We've got black and walleye, sauteed walleye, some black and white fish, Parmesan white fish, perch, and the menu goes on and on. And remember, here at Antrim Dells, many have eaten. Few have died. Now we head back downtown for a little shopping excursion at a very special place called Cherry Republic. Look friends, if we're going to showcase great golf and fun throughout the Cherry capital of America, we've got to come into a place called Cherry Republic, where they have all things cherry in all shapes and sizes. And the manager here is Amanda Tranmer. You, you do have everything, right? Yes, we do, for the most part. Walk us through a little tour of what makes Cherry Republic so popular. Tens of thousands of people <laughs> visit here every summer. So we have a lot of unique products. So we have over 200 products and we're still growing, which is insane. We get probably about 20 new products a year, almost. We have some coming out later this summer. We have everything that ranges from salsa, chocolate covered cherries, jams, you name it, we most likely have it in the store. Okay, so you live in this area, yes. obviously. How special is the Traverse City region? For those that are coming in from out of town, out of state, or out of the country, what's the draw here? I would say like the orchards, going to the beach, there's so much activities, so much to see. It's definitely a unique place to live and grow up. And of course, the, the a cherry cher public, the of cherry, course, right. yes. From the special treats inside Cherry Republic, we come to the very special treat of life on the water aboard the tall ships, complete with Moomer's ice cream. Are you kidding me? It really doesn't get any better than this in Traverse City. We'll take a break when we come back. More golf on the other side and more, more of this. Welcome back into our special showcase of golf, life, and fun in the Traverse City region. We continue our tour in Thompsonville, where you'll find 36 holes of golf as part of the unmatched excellence of Crystal Mountain Resort. I don't know how best to summarize Crystal Mountain, the experience, other than saying it's, it's kind of magical. You know, the magic is, you know, we try to be the stage for exceptional experiences, particularly with families. So we've got a lot of things to do uh, no matter the season for families not only to uh, enjoy time together but uh, enjoy the, the things that they're passionate about whether it's golfing or skiing or we've got a water park, a spa. So there's a lot of different things for folks to do. What we try to encourage people to do when they get here is to disconnect from all the technology that we're, we're tied to. So if you can put down the cell phones, uh, get away and really connect with each other. That's, uh, that's what we think makes a great experience. Yeah, and we, of course, are connecting largely with the golf audience. So how does that opportunity here with the Betsy Valley and the Mount Ridge course, how does that fit into a Crystal Mountain getaway? Well, you know, we certainly have uh, a lot of golfers that come out to enjoy both of those courses, uh, but a lot of times they'll, they'll bring the family with them. So, um, you know, if mom and dad are uh, passionate, avid golfers, they can focus on golf. And uh, if they've got others uh, in the party that uh, might want to do something else, there's, there's something for everybody to do. As we turn our attention to golf at Crystal Mountain, we turn our attention to my friend Greg Pabinek, and what a cool backdrop we have as instruction takes center stage this morning. Indeed, this is a midweek school. We got 12, uh, 12 students, three instructors, and uh, we spend about six hours each day with them uh, for 
for two and a half days. Well, I know that those teaching opportunities take place all season long because as we head out to play Mountain Ridge and Betsy Valley, we want our game to be in tip-top shape. That's indeed what we're trying to get these folks to learn, and uh, we work on a lot of things, uh, a lot of short game instruction. Uh, Greg, if we talk about the golf experience at Crystal Mountain, we, we've got to start with the renovations to Betsy Valley. For those who haven't been there ever or in a long time, you come back to a brand new experience. Indeed, there was a renovation on, I'll go through the holes, number one, was redone. We removed the cart path that crossed the fairway and it was on the right hand side and we removed a water, significant water hazard that was up along the left side up by the green and now that's all playable turf. And on four and five we removed many many hundreds of trees to open up a vista from 115 so you can see the golf course and it opened up an airflow alley for the turf to be more healthy. Uh, I think four and five are great. The view back from five looking towards the mountain is really spectacular which you never had before. It was all wooded. And then on eight and nine, we widened the corridor, redid the tee boxes and, uh, on both of those, and the whole redo up by the green on number eight. And I, we're really pleased with the way that worked. Yeah, and, uh, and golfers love to hear the words widen the corridor as opposed to <laughs> narrow the corridor. Indeed. A little more room to hit the ball. And Betsy has been known as a really good test of your game, but it, it was pretty narrow and the trees had really dominated. Now it looks so different. Yes, it, it allows. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't hit it super straight, and they need that little room on the left side to bring their nice little fade back I know into a guy the fairway, and, uh, you know. and uh, it has really helped. It'll speed up play, makes the turf healthier, and just is a better overall playing experience. I was gonna say, it makes the golf course better, which is really all we wanna hear as golfers, is that this is, it was good before, now it's even better. I, I agree, I, I, like, I like to think that you, if you make the golf course easier to navigate, it's more fun. I found the game to be plenty challenging enough, so I'll take all the help I can get. Yeah. And the views on Betsy Valley really have changed a lot. It's so nice to be able to look across a broad expanse and not just see forest, but be able to see the landscape. Let's go up the mountain to Mountain Ridge Let's and go. talk about the characteristics of this golf course. It's very different from Betsy. One's in the valley, one's in the mountain, thus the name. What's it like playing up on the mountaintop? Well, the mountain is always, you know, the premier golf course always has been with the Betsy's quickly catching up, but the mountain is such a good experience. It's wider corridors off the tee, although it's still tree-lined on both sides. Um, it is wide enough where you can spray it a little bit and the conditions can be, are always great uh, on the mountain. And you know, it's been home to that Michigan Women's Open this our 20th year this year. And uh, the mountain ridge, each hole is its own individual hole. You know, it is tree-lined, so you don't have as many vistas until you start to get up into the 16, 17, 18 area when you get great views overlooking the valley and the Betsy River Valley is just spectacular. Well, there are times when we use the phrase championship course. That is literally a championship course, the Michigan Women's Open on, on the mountain ridge. Yep, indeed it is, yeah. Okay, so my last thought, Greg, is that with all of these challenging golf holes on the property, I should probably go and roll in the school that's taking place behind us. <laughs> so my last question for you is for our viewers who want to do both, who want to come and play, but also take some instruction and really focus on their game, what opportunities are there to do that? Well, we have uh, several schools. Each week we have a, a midweek school, which is a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have a weekend school, which is a Saturday, Sunday. And then we have a women's only school, which starts Sunday afternoon and goes through Tuesday. So seven days a week we're out here teaching, uh, trying to make everybody a better golfer and have them have a better experience. And then during that school, they also get the opportunity to go out and play each and every day. So if you're in a golf school for three days, you get three rounds of golf. And if you don't use them all up, we give you a rain check for that you don't use and you can come back and, and do it again at your leisure. You could come to Crystal Mountain to play great golf courses. And if you enroll in the academies, you can play those great golf courses even better. Thanks, Greg. You're welcome. Thanks. From the sprawling and beautiful property of Crystal Mountain Resort with its two great golf courses, we now bring you another idea for the fun you can enjoy off the course in Traverse City as we come back downtown. And the building you're looking at stretches roughly a quarter mile from one end to the other. There is a lot to explore inside the village at Grand Traverse Commons in Kate Ann Gove. This this place is massive yes. and it's got such history to it. It does, yes. What is the history? Um, this is originally the Northern Michigan Asylum and then it was called the Traverse City State Hospital um, and it was opened in 1885 um, as a hospital for mentally ill patients. 
and now it's been repurposed entirely into a super popular attraction. What's inside? It has. Um, we really have a little bit of everything inside. Um, dining, everything from brunch to coffee shops, uh, to fine dining Italian restaurants, um, exploring of course, um, you know, tons of hiking trails around the property to walk around and explore, and then um, a winery, a brewery, and then of course our awesome Mercado, which is filled with 12 unique shops. These are local entrepreneurs that are, their life dream was to put their favorite subject, their favorite items on display, and they're living that dream out here. They are, yes. All local, um, locally owned stores, um, all with their own unique gift items um, to really everything that you're shopping for available in the Mercado. You know, you can really come here in the morning and spend an entire day. Um, you know, uh, S2S is, our, is a wonderful brunch restaurant or grab a sandwich at Cup of Joe and a cup of coffee. You can relax out on the grounds out here on the front lawn um, or on the piazza, which is in the back of the building. Even follow that up with a, a dinner at one of our beautiful restaurants here. So you really can spend your entire day here. I love how this restoration has also maintained the authentic historic feel. You really do in many cases you're walking through the original structure yes yep um, anytime that it's possible to save or to to restore something rather than tear it out um, that's the mission here is to is to really preserve this as the amazing building that it was when it was built and while you're contemplating a shopping trip to the commons which is a good idea i'm doing a little window shopping of my own here in the marina trying to pick out a little something to go out on the water because when we come back on the show that's exactly where we will be and we'll also showcase our final featured golf destination, Grand Traverse Resort and Spa, after this. Welcome back into the show as we celebrate golf and fun and life in the Traverse City area, and it doesn't get much nicer than a day like this out on the water on the tall ship Manitou. Jamie Trost is the captain of this fine vessel. Good afternoon. Man, what a what a office you have. This <laughs> it's is it's a nice office. How long has this been your office? The, uh, for the last uh, 18 months for Manitou, um, and uh, professionally as a sailor for 24 years. What is magic about life on the water? I, I mean, you guys couldn't have picked a better day than today to be out here. The, um, the breeze is perfect to move the ship along at the speed that human beings moved for thousands of years around the planet at. Uh, the crew are starting to click into gear as we um, move into the full season. Um, and the, the sun's shining, like there's not a lot better than a day like today. This vessel has some unique history to it as well, right? Yeah. What is it? Um, so this ship came to Grand Traverse Bay after a couple years on Lake Champlain. Um, she's named after the um, the islands and the, the passage out there. Manitou, of course, means spirit in Anishinaabewan. Um, so she really is the spirit of Grand Traverse Bay. And she evokes the schooners that, that brought people uh, to Grand Traverse Bay to settle it as a town originally in the 1870s. And everybody who's a passenger on this little tour gets to be a crew member, so uh, to speak. Uh, we, yeah, the sails are heavy, so we want them to be. So <laughs> it's everybody's workout. Sailors don't need CrossFit. Well, you drew up a perfect day for us. Thanks for hosting. Absolutely. As we head down the home stretch of this special look at golf and life and fun in the greater Traverse City area, we come to an iconic destination, the home of three fantastic golf courses and the home of my friend Tom McGee, who's been here since he was a wee lad way back when. What year was your first year at 19, GTR? 1988. Okay, so I you've started. seen a few things here. And some of our viewers perhaps have never spent any time on this property. So what are they missing out on? Uh, you know, we have a lot to offer. I mean, not just the, the golf is fantastic, but with our spa, with our great dining, the restaurants, uh, but really the golf is really the pinnacle and that's, that's why we're here today. The Bear, the Wolverine and Spruce Run, three wonderful courses. Let's take them in reverse order. Tell us about Spruce Run. That's the original 18 hole golf course, uh, opened up in 1979, uh, designed by William Newcomb. It's more your typical Northern Michigan golf course, tighter fairways. Um, there is a lot of trouble out there, a lot of water, um, but it's a challenging golf course. It's actually mid-level as far as the three that we have, as far as the challenge goes. Um, but it's a, it's a great golf course, very underrated. Gary Player, the World Golf Hall of Famer, the legend in the game, designed the Wolverine. 
Um, many people would cite that as their favorite course on the property. What is it about the Wolverine that has so many people giving it thumbs up? It is much more playable. <laughs> Just flat out, simply, it's wider fairways, not as much trouble in front of the greens, so it's, it's very appealing to new golfers, to, uh, to really good golfers if they want to play it a little bit further back. Um, you just, the big key, what makes it really difficult is if you're long on your approach shots, that's the spot where you can't miss it on the Wolverine. But other than that, it is, uh, it's very forgiving and, and people enjoy it. And it's Gary Player's only design in the state of Michigan and he designed it specifically to complement the other two that we had already on property and he did a fantastic job doing so. And then you and I are walking down number one here on the Bear. Jack Nicklaus created this a few decades ago and it has stood the test of of that time and still is a major championship venue. Yeah, it's, it's great. And all 18 holes are just fantastic. And they're all so unique and so different. Um, the common denominator is the tiered greens and the, it's the moguls along the rough. But it's, it's a great challenge and every hole is so different and that's what people really love about it. What's the Grand Traverse Resort and Spa just guest experience like for golfers and for non-golfers? Sure. No, and that's, being a resort, we have a little bit of everything. Uh, we've got great lodging in our 17-story tower. We've got hotel rooms. We've got rooms in our condos, anywhere from studio all the way up to three-bedroom condos, even houses that are available to rent as far as your lodging options go. Um, the three great golf courses, and they all operate out of the same clubhouse. So that's one of the bigger, nicer things that people kind of overlook sometimes is once they get on property, they don't have to try it, travel to another golf destination, to another golf resort. They're, everything is right here if they choose to stay at the resort. And then again, the fine dining options. I think we have seven restaurants and bars that are available. Great service at all of those bars and restaurants and great beverage cart service on the golf course as well. Our full service spa, the retail shops, has a little bit of everything. GTR as, as a part of the Traverse City experience. This region is so special. What would you say to visitors who haven't ever been up here before? Plan on making a return trip, number one, because when you come up here and experience what we have, you're really gonna like it. And it doesn't matter if you're here at other, other Traverse City area resorts, um, the great golf that is surrounding in the area. I mean, it's just amazing. And once you get up here and you see what we have to offer, from the golf experience, from the dining experience, from the trails and things like that, and the nature experience, you will, you'll never be able to see it in one trip, two trips, even three trips, so make a plan to come back. As we wind down our time on today's program, everything you've seen thus far has been made possible by our friends at Traverse City Tourism, which means it's time to talk to Trevor Takach from this wonderful group. What a region you get to represent. What is the magic of Traverse City? <laughs> well, just everything comes together here. You know, it's got the best of all worlds and people love to come together with their friends and family here. So it's a really great place to just join, join in on all the fun and excitement that's always happening here. It's a small town that's always bustling with something to do. There is always something to do. We, we've spent a lot of our time at some of your leading golf properties. We certainly haven't been able to visit all of them. Mm -hmm. Let's talk briefly about how golf feeds into the excitement of Traverse City. Oh yeah, it just adds to the many elements of fun and activity you can take advantage of. And it's the perfect place to golf, right? Like, I mean, look at our surroundings. You got beautiful panoramic views, uh, you know, the landscape, the, everything about this area is perfect for golf, right? So it, it's just one of those additive things when golfers come in, they can enjoy the wineries, they enjoy the, the dining and breweries, they can go shopping and have fun and explore, hit the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Or if you're up here to do all the other stuff, then you can add golf into that uh, you know, itinerary as well. So it's a, it's a nice mix and balance. And I feel like there is truly something for everyone in Traverse City. While I find the beautifully manicured fairways a very big draw, I also find this beautiful, pristine blue water a very big draw. Yeah. The fun out on the water here in Traverse City is, I think, unmatched perhaps anywhere in America. And it's very accessible. You know, you can get out on the tall ships, but you could rent a pontoon boat with the family, jump on jet skis, parasail, or you can go kayaking, canoeing, you know, slow it down, get on a stand-up paddleboard. A lot of people love to come up here and fish. Mm -hmm. We have some of the best fishing in America. Bass fishing, you can go out and uh, go trout fishing on the rivers or, or go out on a charter boat and, and pull up some salmon or, or trout out there too. So it's a really great experience. I sort of had my eye on one of those yachts right behind you. Do you happen to have the keys to it? Uh, it's my buddies. I'll give them a call and maybe we'll hit it later. Is that all right? <laughs> well, friends, that wraps up a hyper speed visit to Traverse City. Some of the great golf destinations and the other things you can do on and off the course 
that equate to a lifetime of memories. Might I recommend when you come on out, you take some time on the tall ships and explore the beauty of the water here, and then get the golf clubs in your hand as you head out to play. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, and we'll see you here in Traverse City.